What is up, YouTube? Let's say this Puddles A1 here, and I am bringing you another narrated Wi Fi battle. So, today, guys, got another OU match against BCAM0991. You guys can go ahead and check him out at the end of the video. His link will be in the team preview. Pretty chill dude. He does dual narrations, and they're really funny. Um, You guys, please check him out. Uh, yeah, you guys already know my team, so let's look at his really quick. Um, my Mammal Swine, first of all, will run train throughout this team. He's got the Jirachi, the Tyranitar, and the Terrakion all week to my stab, super effective life orb, boosted earthquake, and, uh, he's got the Latios and the Landorus, same thing, but with Ice Shard, so I can basically run train with this Mammal Swine, and that's what I plan on doing if I can keep it alive, so with that said... Here we go, guys. He's going to lead off with his Jirachi. I'm going to lead off with Wobbuffet. And as you can see in the background, our beautiful Bug-type Pokemon. Some nice moving clouds. And there's that little rainbow monitor in the corner. Not sure what that's doing, but I like to touch. So he goes out into his Chiaotzu here. And I'm thinking he's going to go for the Thunder Wave or the Stealth Rock. So I'm just going to go for the Encore to lock him into that. And um, he actually goes for the Iron Head. And I don't get flinched. So I was like, yes! Awesome! Jirachi, you suck! And, um... I'm thinking, okay, I can either switch out here and go into my Volcarona and possibly get the Flame Body and then start setting up, or I can stay in and try and counter kill this uh, Jirachi so he doesn't get Stealth Rock up. Um, so I actually stay in here trying to kill this thing because I don't want Stealth Rock up because that's, you know, bad news bears for my team. And I go for the counter, I don't take it out, but I do a lot of damage to it. And um, at the time of the match, I really probably should have paid attention to that just because of how much I actually did. It doesn't even seem like this Jirachi was especially a defensive one just because of how much damage I did take from it but you know I'll never know <laughs> I guess so I do take it out with the, another counter and the thing is never got flinched that entire time so suck it king of hacks Jirachi um I lived and I'm, I'm gonna keep my Wobbuffet in here just because I didn't know if this would be the sheer force Landorus or the sand force Landorus because he is running a sand team um turns out he's sheer force that's fine my Wobbuffet really did serve its purpose I really just needed to get that mammal swine not that mammal swine no uh, that Jirachi out of the way because uh iron heads will hurt my mammal swine and and um, now I'm just going to threaten him out with the Ice Shard. And I thought this would be like the max HP, max defense, Calm Mind, Reuniclus. Because I see those a lot. But it turns out that he's probably running the Trick Room Life Orb one. So um, that's why that Ice Shard did so much. And judging by that Ice Shard damage, I am fairly certain that an Earthquake will take it out. Just because of, you know, base power differences. And neither of them is resisted. So that's a dead Reuniclus. Because I do take it out with that Earthquake. And that is awesome. And right now, guys, it is 5-4 my lead. I'm freaking out because, you know, I'm leading in a match. Who does that? When do I ever do good in Pokemon? It's ridiculous, guys. So I'm going to switch out here and not want to take a close combat because I knew it's going to smack my Mammal Swine in the face and kill it. So I go out into my uh, Tentacruel, and I'm thinking, you know, I am max HP, you know, max, or er, well, 240 defense or something like that. I'm pretty sure I can take a um, close combat. But judging by that damage, and uh, I calced it afterwards, and that was like... If he was Scarfed, it would have done, like, 100 or something, like, 120. But that did, like, over, so I'm not even sure what he was, to be honest. Um, but I go for the Toxic here. In hindsight, what I should have done was gone for the Substitute on the Switch out, so I would have had the Sub up and then gone for tox Toxic the next turn when he would have had to break myself with the Psychic. And, um... Or I could have actually even gone for the Ice Beam when this Latios came in, and then that would have been even better. But, hey, you know, whatever. Um, I really didn't need my spinner because uh, his Jirachi didn't get the chance to set up rocks, and that's basically all I thought was I didn't really need it. So, going to my Deoxys here. I know he's going to switch out because he's most likely choice locked into something. Um, he's probably like Scarf or, Scarf or Specs. Um, I'm not sure. Don't really care. But I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock when he switches out into his Tyranitar here. And now the Tyranitar uh, Deoxys defense matchup is really, you know, it's not... A good thing if you're the one that has a Deoxys defense, but I have Recover and I have the Rocky Helmet and I have Nightshade, so I really don't care what this guy's gonna do. He thinks he's gonna Pursuit Trap me and I'm gonna switch out. That's not the case, dude. I have Rocky Helmet. You're gonna take more damage than you think you're gonna take um, after Leftovers and Rocky Helmet and Nightshade damage. After four Nightshades, I should be able to take it out if he keeps hitting me with um, the Pursuit. But on this turn, he sees what I'm doing and why I'm just staying in here trying to whittle, whittle down, dwindle, whittle. Well, I'm trying to, you know, reduce the HP on this Tyranitar. And he actually sets up Stealth Rock. So I was like, no, my Tentacruel's dead. So I was really upset because I lost my Tentacruel and he still had a guy to set up Stealth Rock. Um, and again, in hindsight, I should have seen that. Like, I should have kept my Tentacruel because Tyranitars do tend to set up Stealth Rock. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but whatever. Um, and from this range, I'm like, Okay, I'm faster than him, and if he goes for Pursuit again, he's going to kill me. Uh, or he's going to kill himself, so I'm just going to go for the Recover on this turn, just to get at a better footing for when he brings in um, Landorus or Terrakion, or whoever he wants to bring in, because like, all he's got left is threats. So um, he actually goes for the Pursuit here, takes himself out, and brings me to about half. And, um, oof, 
a little bit less than half, whatever. And he dies, Sandstorm's going to happen, bring me down to like 110 or something like that. And uh, I'm actually feeling good about where I am positioned right now in the battle, just because, you know, I, don't, I'm, I feel like I'm at a good footing, because I do have my Mammal Swine left, which is the Pokemon that I wanted to have left, and I still have my um, uh, Volcarona left. So, I don't know, those are the only Pokemon that I use, like, sweep things, but, you know, whatever. He actually sets up a sub here, probably predicting me to switch out, but I actually go for the recover, because I was pretty sure I could live a hit. Um, and he goes for the Earth Power here, and since I know he's going to outspeed me, and that I'm, I know for a fact I can live a hit regardless now, and I'm just going to go for the Nightshade, and uh, it turns out that I, well, not it turns out, but I break the sub, and to be honest, I thought that I would take that Earth Power better, but then, you know, if you factor in Sheer Force and Life Orb and then Stab, and, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm running any special defense um, EVs in this, I think it's max HP, max speed, and then, like, defense EVs. Uh, I'm not sure. Whatever. So, I go on to my Mammal Swine here, and uh, I actually, this is an actual prediction I made, so don't just think I just went for Ice Shard. I predicted him to predict me to go for Earthquake, thinking Terrakion was going to come in. Terrakion was going to come in. So, I knew he would send out his uh, Latios, and he does, and I still go for the Ice Shard. So, even had he stayed in, he would have lost his um, friggin' Lot, lot, no, Landorus. God, I'm gonna get these guys confused. But he actually sends out his Latios thing, and then I was gonna go for Earthquake, and I made the good prediction. That's probably like the only prediction I've ever made in the game. Let's be honest, though. And so, um, right now I think it's uh, three, two, my lead again. And I know he's gonna probably go for the Earth, or not the Earthquake, the Stone Edge here. But he actually goes for Earthquake, seeing as how it's gonna be like neutral on all my Pokemon. And I was really, really hoping that he was gonna go for Stone Edge, but he goes for the Earthquake, and I was like, no. And now he's going to take out my Nine Tails. I really didn't need Sun because his Sand team really wasn't based around Sand or anything. So it was kind of irrelevant to have my Sun up. And um, now I make the dumbest play I could have possibly made. And I go into my Volcarona. Now, first of all, I should have went into my Mammal Swine just because an Earthquake might not have been able to take me out. And I could have retaliated with an Earthquake of my own, and then had he gone into Latios, or not Latios, Landorus, I'm so stupid, I could have went for the Ice Shard, and then he would have probably, it would have been switching around, but I still could have done enough damage to things, to, you know, come in and kill things later, but, um, I'm kind of thinking that he might have been Scarfed, um, just because I'm not sure how much Banded Terrakion does to Terrakion, or not Banded Terrakion does to Tentacruel, um, I still have to calc that again, because I'm not sure about the numbers, but I do get to take out the Mammal Swar or, my god, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I do get to take out the Landorus. It's just Landorus. I can't remember his name for the life of me. And um, at this range of HP, he can definitely take me out with a uh, close combat or anything he has in his arsenal, except for, you know, friggin' um, X's or a quick attack. So he goes for the close combat. He's going to take me out. It's not a narrow 1-0, but, you know, I brought him down to one Pokemon, guys. That's better than I did last video, right? So um, that's good game. BKM0991, I will, I, I highly recommend going to check this guy out, it's pretty funny to watch his videos, it's not like <laughs> real narrating, it's just like, this guy sucks, yeah he sucks, look what he's, he sucks, look at this bad movie he's doing, so, you know, check him out if you want to, click from the Jirachi all the way to Landorus, it'll take you directly to BKM's page, you can check out his stuff, like his stuff, favorite it, sub to him, do whatever you want, um, if you click the Nine Tails, it'll take you to my last video, if you click the Wobbuffet, it'll take you to my next video, uh, when I upload it on Friday, uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, add me on Skype if you want, Puddles A1, is the name throughout all that thanks for watching guys let's get um you know what guys i got 10 likes on my last video um if you guys could get like 11 likes on this one that'd be pretty cool so that's about it guys peace love and later gators